Everything is energy and already exists in its invisible form. So physical reality is basically nothing more than an energy made visible through imagination. It may seem solid and fixed, but it truly is not. Everything that we can see here was once only imagined and is sustained by our imaginal acts. Once you cease to imagine or be aware of something, the thing goes back into its original, eternal form, which is the invisible. It simply vanishes from your view, but it never ceases to exist in its only true, eternal, invisible form. So basically, God or imagination is imagining itself to be you or your physical body. But your true self is not your body. Rather, you are imagination or consciousness imagining yourself to be your body. And your current reality is again your imagination pushed out. And this is exactly why everything that you can imagine, you already have in its invisible form. But to make that which you desire visible or perceivable to your senses, you need to become aware of already having what you want. Or you need to begin imagining that what you want is already here right now. So let me give you an example. Let's say you are missing your car keys. You are looking for them everywhere and you simply cannot locate them. But if you are willing to believe that everything visible is simply your imagination pushed out, then you can test this by realizing that the car keys are actually not missing because everything already exists in your imagination. They cannot be missing, which means that they are actually right here, right now but you are not able to perceive them because your senses are telling you that they are not there. And so you automatically enter the state of not having them. That is what you become aware of. And as long as you are aware of not having them, you are not going to be able to perceive them. So you are basically imagining that the keys are not there. And since everything visible is your imagination pushed out, what that means is that if you are imagining that the keys are not there, then you are not going to be able to perceive them or they are not going to be made visible to you and they are not going to be there. So the solution here is to begin imagining that the keys are actually right here, right now. You want to mentally occupy the reality in which you already have the keys by feeling the relief of having already found the keys. If you do this, you will be able to perceive the keys and you will be able to prove to yourself that the keys are actually right here, right now. Whatever you desire, believe that you have received it and you will. Mark eleven twenty four, Believe meaning feel or imagine that you have already received what you want or be the energy that you would like to express. So if you can feel the reality of what you want to the point of feeling the relief that you are already there and then remain loyal to that feeling or that reality, you will shift into that reality or it will be objectified on the screen of space. You see, you cannot desire or feel the lack of something and have it at the same time. So after doing your imaginal act or affirming, if you are still in the energy of lack of what you want, you need to keep looping your imaginal act until the feeling of already possessing what you want feels like a new memory to you or feels natural to you. 
So knowing your desire, persist in the thought that you already have it until your thoughts become habitual or until thinking from the state of your desire fulfilled feels true to you. If you do not, you will find yourself returning to your old way of thinking and perpetuate it, thus never seeing your desire externalize or manifest itself. So the key to perceiving the invisible or to making that which is invisible visible is to begin to think from the state of your desire fulfilled until you can feel the energy of already being in that state or that reality. And then you need to remain faithful to that unseen reality. As if you have already received what you want in your physical reality. For it is the loyalty to that unseen reality is what makes that invisible energy visible. So thinking from the state of your wish already fulfilled is the same as already having the thing desired now. And when you feel like the person who already has what you want, you get to externalize that desire or make it visible to your senses.